None of your goddamn business. You know what? Everybody can fuck off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we're back. Everybody with the Tangent Podcast and the <laughs> Drunken News. So Brian is usually maestro. To take not us here. Away. He's not know. here. But we're somehow in his apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't break in, yeah, I swear. Yeah. I no, swear. Definitely not. We yeah. might have. <laughs> We um, might yeah, we teleported. Um, so since he's not here to read the news, Steve's going to read the news? Well, well Steve we don't need Brian anymore news. to read the news. Yeah. So I oh, read the news from now right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we got the point system. I'm still point new system. to it. I think I only <laughs> had one week of it. Points so. don't matter, though. Yeah, so Brian won last one, week. One sympathy point for you. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I'm wow, on a good holy shit. Already. God damn. Ooh, holy shit. Damn, this is how yeah. this happens. <laughs> he's going to get through it, yeah. I mean, it's just rigged against me. You know, Brian won last week, so there's no rant this week. Good point. Um, right. But hopefully when he comes back next week, if he comes back, or we might just be here again and just take over his entire apartment. I thought we were going to do the guy. He's not here. So the guy who Dude, I live here now. had the next yeah. highest <laughs> yeah, this point is level. Our this point. is our place. Next to Rand. Okay. Right. So that would be Anthony, right? Yeah. So Anthony gets 30 seconds on the fly. You didn't even think got, about it. Ready? You got, got wait, nothing. five Hold seconds. Whoa, 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 I got nothing. Wait. Five seconds. It doesn't matter. You got nothing. Yeah. If you got nothing, then you can't. Relax. It's it, thirty seconds of just, silence. You though. could just. What's happening? You could just. So Justin, whistle into the microphone. Yep. I don't give a fuck. You got no, thirty seconds. No, I got nothing. Ready, set, go. Thirty S- seconds of silence. Of silence. Okay. Just for Anthony. This is good airtime. Yeah. All right. Then we probably should do that. Told you. I don't need silence. All right. Whatever. 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 You. Negative points for Anthony. <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, <laughs> I have to think about it. I gotta queue up the first story anyway. Yeah, I'll get to the okay the situation. All right. So first Steve, story this week, we got go. GameStop to shutter 100 plus stores. So it's game over for more than 100 GameStop retail locations. The company Close announced the earlier. Shutters. This do not interrupt. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> you might lose that. Oh, oh, let's <laughs> let's take some points away. <laughs> That's right. Whoa. The company yeah, announced earlier really this week that it's shutting down 2 to 3% of its stores. That means as many as 190 stores could be on the chopping block. Um, GameStop currently has 6,600 stores globally and 4,400 in the United States. It's unclear how many domestic stores the Texas-based company plans to close. Um, um. The retail of new and used video games has been shaking ground. Uh, the stock plummeted more than 31% over the past year. And the company said its overall sales fell 13.6% last quarter compared to years prior. And then the CEO, Paul Raines, um, said in a statement Thursday that the video game category was weak, particularly in the back half of 2016. Um, that's because the biggest names in gaming, PlayStation, Maker, Sony, well, Xbox, haven't updated their consoles in a while, Raines said. That creates a lag in the business right. for retails like GameStop. This is that's bullshit. I mean, people yeah. are just going digital now. Hey, so if you still work for GameStop, make sure you're selling those pre-orders. And you'll keep I have. Going. I mean, me personally, I have no sympathy for them. No. Fuck. Digital GameStop. kills everyone, and it's going to happen to any game, especially people who well, run their business like shit. That sounds like bullshit. Some, they what? don't have nude consoles. Uh, yeah. So what? I mean, that's that's crazy. Yeah. That's was, crazy. We're getting into the was prime. The, of was the back half of 2016 middle. bad for games? Because I'm pretty sure that's when like Christmas is on the. Well, back I end think of last year up. wasn't looked at yeah. as the best year of for games. But, but still, that's still his excuse. It's a silly it's excuse, like, but I think, I mean, more so, this comes down to fuck GameStop. The GameStop sucks. Actually. I like there that bunch, point for you. There are a bunch of pieces yeah. of shit. <laughs> there you go. Fuck you know, GameStop. For the last 15 years of my life, probably longer than that, they've, they've been, been nickel and it. diamond us. Dude, Funkaland was the shit. You, All right, plus one on that. <laughs> you can't, Definitely the shit. You can't return games there Fire or up. trade games <laughs> in. They, they absolutely <laughs> screw you. Um, and then just the mere fact that every time you go in there, they're just trying to push pre-orders down your throat. Yeah, they're trying to push yeah, warranties. Do they still do that? The disc warranty shit. <coughs> yeah. Disc warranty. Yep. They want you to sign they, up for the card. And they like frown upon you, you, like when you say no, because I told you I went in there and bought oh, that's right. Zelda that's on the right, Wii U, yeah. and like I knew this guy was going to try to sell me everything out of the world, and I literally got pleasure out of telling him no to everything that he asked me. But like when they asked, like, do you want the warranty? I'm like, no, I'm good. And they're just like, are you sure? Like, what happens if the game is trying? Like, I'm good, man. I'll like, I'm, I'm actually good. What happens is so, I'm going to come back here and frisbee it <laughs> off your face. <laughs> so, I am I mean, whatever. It's digital sales are crushing. It's not the fact of lack of consoles. Like, that's not. And it's not even a lack of consoles. Like, PlayStation just came out with the P4 
PS4. We're gonna uh, get the Pro, Pro. and then yeah. you just gotta switch. Sco- we're gonna get the Scorpio. And then the right. Scorpio is now starting to, you know, rumors are circling, and we can talk about that for the next thirty weeks. Um, I don't even think it's the digital thing that's hurting them. I just. It's Amazon. I don't. I th- well, it's, it's a lot of it's online retailers, and but it's also because they have a stigma. Mm-hmm. They're known as sle- I mean sleazy. They're shit yeah. from yeah. the most part. And they're they- just in the malls right now. Mm-hmm. They're in the malls. They have that location. So like they're what they're making the bang for their buck is mom and dad. Mom and dad the going through the looking. mall. Like my kid needs a game for Christmas right. or whatever. So they're stopping there. But like you said, Amazon is a huge thing. Everybody has like Amazon Prime now. So why would I go to GameStop when I right. can just get this for cheaper or on Amazon? Or even like Brian, for example, he likes to go to Best Buy. And Best Buy has like you can buy and pre-order and stuff. And it's a more reputable company, like you said, because people now know that they're just like pieces of shit. Nobody wants to go there. No, they're not. They, they fucking suck. Fuck GameStop. Yeah, honestly. Fuck Next GameStop. story. Fuck yeah. GameStop. Everybody gets a point for that. Yeah, give yourself a point, Steve. <laughs> I'm not on the list. I have all the points, so it doesn't yeah. even yeah. really matter. Yeah, but just, just because I want, you know, a little something extra for you. you know? <laughs> no. Give yourself well, a point. That you're very you deserve it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sucking up, that's a point. <laughs> that's <laughs> wow. Sucking up is a point? Yeah, I'm never going to win this. Dude, ass, dude no. <laughs> this is oh. Anyway, next story. StarCraft Remaster unveiled. And original SD version becomes free. Mm. So... Mm. Uh, yeah, long yeah, rumors yeah. StarCraft Remastered for Computers was finally sure, revealed awesome. on Saturday by Blizzard, and it's set to launch in summer of 2017. Um, no pricing info, um, but Blizzard has confirmed quite a few other details about the 4K-friendly release. It's always oh, nice. Shit. Um, for one, Ultra. it will be preceded by a patch to the 19-year-old StarCraft Brood War client. So this is the new 1.18a client. Um, won't change any of the mechanics of the game, and will be fully compatible with... The last patch, like, I think it's 1.16. So they were just like, hey, guys, you want to have fun? Here you go. They just made this. Just made it completely free, and it still works. I think it fixes some <laughs> bugs. Um, <coughs> it gives, uh, among other tweaks, like better compatibility with newer versions of Windows, the patch will include two important updates, the ability to connect to and play against owners of the upcoming remastered version and change to a wholly free product. Um, once the patch goes live, the original StarCraft anthology will be free as in beer to download and play in both single and multiplayer modes. Um, That's some epic it will first launch for Windows players on March 30th. So it came out uh, as of this recording yesterday. Um, if you pay for the remaster, which will launch on both Mac and PC, you'll get the exact same game logic and content as the original game, only with completely redrawn 2D graphics that will scale up to 4K resolutions and widescreen ratios. Um, the remaster will also fully retouch the assets of the game, six campaigns, complete with two, w- complete with new lo- uh, comic book intro panels and re-recorded dialogue. Um, Damn. So there's some pictures of what it looks like, so... Um. Yeah, pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. There's that's fucking good. Customer I like. Service. I like the uh, aspect of it going. If you don't have the remaster, you could still play Playables. with people that have the remaster. Yep. That's pretty fucking sweet. I'm having really. I don't think I've seen a game do that before. I don't. Was that like a piggyback? definitely not you get definitely not a game this old? You get yeah. to play the whole game. You mean? Like, or does it just mean you that play you guys online, can right? intercross with each other and it doesn't matter if you don't technically have... You play online you against each other. So well, you're still you the original. The yeah. I don't... There is a... There's a co-op in StarCraft, right? Is uh, it... But is it online co-op? Local. I think it might be local. Uh, Wasn't yeah. there also a Warcraft, right? Yeah, World Warcraft. of Warcraft and this... <laughs> World, well, but we're not really. <laughs> that's a minus I mean, I point. I, that's I it is. It really one, is because uh, Starcraft is my jam. A a world of Warcraft. Scribes well, there is right, a there, but point. there is a Warcraft. Warcraft. Isn't there a um, correct a one that's like that? There's a Warcraft there RTS. One. Yeah, there's that's the three original of them. though. So that was before World of Warcraft. It was a mix between like Diablo and then Starcraft because you could level up. Uh, like I think Dynasty Warriors, the personnel can level up. So you have like a warrior that's really skilled that would lead you. You're kind of on. You're you're pretty much people into the battle and be, he'd be higher level than everybody else. i'm very excited yeah. with the remaster i love the original starcraft i think um like starcraft 2 is actually i mean it is really really good but would you be able to get it on mac no boy. yeah well what this the, the remaster? remaster the remaster yeah it was another thing it said yeah. it'll launch on mac and pc the same the remaster will and then the original one still works on it so okay. 
cool. Um, but yeah, Blizzard, I mean, four at it again. 4K. I mean, it's actually Customer interesting service. that they gave the original away for free and and allow, like you said, allow you to play with the remastered version. Um, I think that's great. Yeah, because it still holds up. I think I read in another article still great. that they actually, I think some of the really they fun. changed yeah. the keys so they're actually more contemporary to how like um rts's mm -hmm. do key mappings and group um like big battalion selections and shit like that yeah i think but that could have just been a rumor sweet but yeah it's looking good great go. great fucking game no. uh so the next news story is um amd's teasing a little bit about its next uh graphics card scary you guys <laughs> Just really if you build this, but uh, AMD's, AMD's yeah. next uh, graphics card is, I think it's codenamed Vega. Um, this is supposed to be, it's the second generation of their HBM, which is just a type of memory on it, that will uh, go from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. Um, could offer equivalent memory benefit to a 1080 Ti. So Gary has the 1080. 1080 Ti came out, like, what, a month ago, maybe? And... Uh, there's not much to say about it, but it's looking like it's... It's probably a beast. Probably need to get it Yeah. at some point, but I'm all set uh, with my 1080 right now. I think my 1080 will be just fine for a little bit longer. Yeah, <laughs> solid 1080. There have been some leaks. They, they've been... Te I mean, it's been rumored for a long time because uh, it's a completely new type of graphics card. Yeah. Like, they're making a new chip for it, so... Been, yeah, we've been waiting for it, but yeah, it's just some tease. Fucking graphics cards is sick. PC life. I mean, the competition's good. Yeah. That's what you want with the graphics cards. Yeah. Then it, prices go lower on the ones that are above me right good. now. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty I'll good be able to, to be, be a, grab one in another year or so. Pretty good to be a PC. Uh, Interchangeable parts. Yeah. That's it. That's really all. That's it. Is. Justin will be there shortly. Hey, will he though? Uh, oh, don't like don't hearing know. that. <laughs> I don't know. That about might that. be negative points. Just maybe. Not in it for the points. Points don't matter. Yeah. Not in it for the points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> ten. Yeah. Minus uh, 10. So. <laughs> minus 10 is quite hefty. <laughs> That's a hefty one, yes. But uh, let's continue on. Uh, next story is Star Wars Battlefront 2 officially announced. So Hopefully they get a Star campaign. Wars what? <laughs> Nothing. We let him speak. Uh, okay. Well, Will Star you Wars let him speak, please? Come on, man. You're just delaying this whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh -oh. Star Wars Battlefront uh -oh. 2 is the name of the next Battlefront game that EA announced. Um, executives EA have been um, publicly discussing plans for a sequel to EA's Dice's Battlefront since the day, blah, blah, blah. Uh, EA will show the first trailer for Star Wars 2 Battlefront uh, during a panel Star Wars celebration in 2017, which take, takes place in mid-April. The panel... The galaxy-wide premiere of Star Wars Battlefront 2 will feature members of the game's development team from EA, three EA studios, DICE, was it uh, Motive and Seret, um, Centron? How do you pronounce that? Yeah, you guys would know. So. No? All yeah. right. Uh, it's set to begin at 2.30 p.m. Et, uh, Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, April 15th, and will be live-streamed. Games expected to be launched this fall, likely on PS4, PC, and Xbox One, and they have a logo. They have a logo. Just Sweet. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Sweet. Um, I'm pretty sure the campaign's coming to it. Eventually. No, I think, I mean, I think what they were saying with the first one, they just didn't have enough time to make the campaign, and they had a date for it. I'm pretty sure, like, because the biggest complaint about the first Battlefront was that they didn't have a campaign, like the originals. Right, we shit um, all over that, didn't we? So... I'd be excited for this if they announce that there is a campaign. If there's no campaign, count me out. You know, same I'd thing as before. Well, I mean, the other, um, the original games were good with the little battle system they had, but well, that's what I'm saying. Like the campaign that they had, the structure of it, and how you fight the different battles yeah. and move through. Yeah, the, the last map. one was fucking stupid. I don't think it was that like that's it made a lot of money for them. Um, that's why there's a sequel coming out. Yep. And you know now that it's an owner of Disney, they're gonna make more and more and more. But I just hope that they make a campaign. It will take my money if it has that. So cool, whatever. Fair Welcome. enough. Next story, we All got right. free well. PlayStation Plus games for April, 2017. So I'm gonna read. It. I'm just gonna. It only really affects me. Go to the list of games. I have it. We got Dodge. Nope. Uh, 
Oh, what is it? I, I got PlayStation I you didn't Plus get now. PlayStation Plus. Oh, do you? Oh shit! I do. Hmm. Some oh. of that PC money that I oh, <laughs> there it goes. leaked into that's the a, like negative points uh, buying PlayStation Plus instead of a PC. But it's like free plus games. one, it's negative one. He's going oh, he's lateral. Yeah, it is free you know, games. Lateral move. Okay. What games are you gonna be playing, Justin? Let's see. I mean, it's nah, find to out. Come. Drawn to Let's find out. Perfect. Um, <laughs> drawn to death. Yeah. Lovers in a dangerous space time. I in, already have this for the Xbox. Invisimals, The Lost Kingdom, Alien Rage Extended Edition, 10 Second Ninja, which is on the Vita, and Curses to Chaos. Curses and Chaos, PS Vita. Cross by with PS4. Both of those were cross by PS4, the uh, Vita ones. I don't think I know what any of those are. No. Nope. <laughs> so it doesn't. No. I mean, I truthfully have no idea what any of those are either. So I know what one of them is. Because I have it, I just haven't played it before. So like some this? random ass, just like what is arcade it? style. The first one that you read, Tron to Drawn death. to Death. Mm, maybe it was the second one. Lovers in a Dangerous yes, Space Time. That one. The titles. It's pretty intriguing. nice. It's a cool cover too, but I just it was free for Xbox. It was no Earthlock. <laughs> it was no Earthlock. I'll tell you that. PlayStation's dropping the ball on this one. <laughs> yeah. Dropping the ball. Anthony, eventually. your thoughts. Drawn to Death. Uh, I did give the statement of they did a partnership with this guy. I think to grab the the game exclusively. So it looks pretty interesting. It is hand drawn. Hand drawn. Is this the one that's multiplayer? I haven't checked out anything more than. I like know that there's that. one that's coming out that's like hand drawn. It looks like, um, like a teenager's notebook kind of drawings, and this might be yeah, it. It's multiplayer it. only, and yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We'll find out next month. Natasha. You all get a point. Taking this response. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> CD Projekt calls Cyberpunk 2077 development quite advanced, but release is still a ways off. So at its financial conf, uh, conference this week, CD Projekt cannot proclaim that it sold more than 25 million copies of Witcher games. Ooh. That's a goal. That's a lot. That's a lot, <laughs> That's a uh, lot of fucking games. copies. That's a lot of games. <laughs> Were we celebrating Horizon for two, two, yeah. two million? And the Witcher's just throwing out 25, 25 million. million. Like, what's up? Yep. It's fucking sweet. CD uh, Project Red Studio head Adam Bowelski. Wow. <laughs> Nailed it. Got on sit. Hmm? Nice job. That's a point. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I, I do kill the names, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liter- literally. <laughs> yep. That's not. Anyway, I uh, got on stage to say progress on Cyberpunk 2077 was quite advanced and that the studio's biggest team comprised of several hundred people, was working on the game. It's good fun for us, he said. <laughs> uh, he added that the project is very ambitious, pointing out that mm-hmm. the that each of the CD Projekt's games has been more successful than the last. The ambitions are very vicarious, so we would like to devote a lot of attention to cyber, a lot of effort, and quite some time. So we still need some time to get the game ready. Um, it's a new title for us, and it will accompany us for years, so it takes effort to prepare it properly. The work is ongoing and it's very intense, so it's not a comfortable situation because we know what it's like. We watch the game, but we can't tell you anything. This EA belongs to Gwent. Uh, Gwent? No. Nope. Card game. It's yeah. A card okay. Game from the, the Witcher. Yeah. So, yeah. And this year we'll be com- uh, communicating with Gwent. Um, that a company of us for years line seems to indicate more the Cyberpunk 2077 than a single game. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Blah blah uh, blah. <laughs> sold a lot of copies but yes so they're working on it has That's around 300 close. developers working on it and the team is growing um yeah i mean cyberpunk 2077 i'm all on board it's supposed to be some futuristic to, yeah cyberpunk right. rpg uh made by this cd pro- project red who complete, made the witcher complete opposite direction but i mean still i'm sure it's going to be absolutely fantastic and i'm excited that they are definitely a developer that I I like how they're coming out and saying this year is about Gwent, even though I don't give a fuck Gwent, about Gwent. Yeah. But I know people do, but they're not like pushing anything. They're not trying to tell us anything. They're they're saying, look, we're working on it. It's coming. They've been talking about it for a couple of years now, and I'm sure we'll see something at some point this year on it, whether it's like a animated trailer or whatever it may may be. But just the fact that they're making this game, I'm excited about. I think it'll be a nice addition. And especially the fact that they mentioned that this is going to be a game that's going to be with us for years to come. Right. 
is a good thing for a developer to say, meaning that they're going to be putting time and effort, just like they did with The Witcher 3, where DLC was still coming out, exactly. you know, years after the game had released. They so. seem pretty big on that, that company. Yeah. They do um, take the time to perfect something. Wow, well, they're f- fantastic. Fantastic. So I'm excited for it. Excellent. So the next uh, news story we got is uh, major Xbox One update overhauls, dashboard, and more. So uh, Microsoft has started rolling out a major update. Um, the biggest change in the update is the yeah. complete overhaul yeah. of the dashboard, which is now sleeker, sleeker with a simplified user interface. Uh, so have you guys updated? It is I'm, updated. I'm looking at you two because I haven't started the Xbox One yeah. in a long time. It is. They is just, this better? They fiddled it around a little bit. I'm not sure if necessarily if it's better what than did the they other do one or not. Justin? I really, they just changed the order in which shit is like your achievements is on the top left now and they just kind of rearrange stuff i didn't really <laughs> go too deep into it so besides making the xbox one dashboard easier in the eyes microsoft's other goal with the dashboard will also achieve improved performance so players can access the content they want as fast as possible um, they also tweak the way the guide button works giving players an overlay menu to quickly access different functions of their console instead of forcing them to go back to the home screen there we go <laughs> that that is a huge improvement i my what kind of options <laughs> that's right <laughs> what I kind of options are they like going back for it's a playstation thing so like instead of like before the problem i have is like you have to exit kind of out of everything and then go into like two sub menus to kind of find stuff which is like games in one section like you said achievements is on what the left hand side oh achievements it's was all like fucked up that's why it's probably on the very first one now it's right on the top where it's like, ah, if they do this, the guide menu, it's just like, I'm assuming you press the center button and it just gives you yeah. like the kind of like close application or just immediately to. Yeah, and they've been fine tuning it. Like I know like before I broke my Xbox, um, you press the home button, they would have like different buttons would save clip, take an image, so different things. So I'm sure they're adding on to that with, you know, if you want to check your achievements. So, they I mean, I think they have a tracker. You can like track it on screen as well as new. Like All five the to ten achievements at a time. I think I saw that. And you can change how bright it is on the yeah. screen. I mean, so I personally feel like Xbox is just making these small changes to their UI, to their systems, and they're building towards something. Whether whatever they're building towards is going to convert into like actual money and like be a very good product when I'm talking about Scorpio. Because they haven't came out with shit for games. Like games that they've actually been pushing, like Scalebound, have been canceled. Yeah. So they have to be doing something. Like they have to be working towards something. And I think all of their resources and everything they're doing is building towards the Scorpio, which we really don't know anything about. You get lucky because E3 comes. You'll hit E3. They can announce every all their games or whatever they have, and then Scorpio. Yeah. And that's kind of well, it's a big year for them. So one of the other changes they made gives streamers um, something besides Twitchery to rely on in the form of Beam, a new streaming service that will also make its way to Windows 10 at a later date. Um, yeah, I've heard it. I've seen more and more people streaming on Beam. Yep. Which I've never heard about. And then something else that they added was um, is a new way to view achievements while playing games. Yeah. Um, previously, you had to view achievements while playing games. Or Previously, Xbox One owners were able to view achievements while playing games thanks to the now defunct Snap feature, but now they can do so with the new Achievement Tracker tool. With the Achievement Tracker, players can select multiple achievements to track at any given time, and these achievements will appear on screen as they play, allowing Achievement Hunters to keep a close eye on their progress. Um, There's also a Co-Pilot feature. Which allows players, which lets players have two controllers control the same character on the screen to help more people experience games together. What? Uh, so they, took our, they took our idea. Was well, that what? like so, in, when they have two steering wheels in the same car? Well, they mentioned it might be appealing to parents who want to help yeah, their yeah. kids play games. So it's oh, let's so play, have, let's like players have like two controllers wheel. control wheel. the same character on screen. That sounds like we should get a let's yeah. play going of us <laughs> trying to complete a hard single player game. With <laughs> Fucking each other over. Person. Yeah. Oh shit. This, is, um, this could be interesting. And like there's Shot also a uh, new screen time limits feature. So you can screen time limits, you know, just parental controls. And 
included in the overhaul. Yeah. yeah I mean, it sounds like good changes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, their UI has always been very simple for the most part. I mean, the original Xbox One UI was the bad. best. I think the best. Well, the you, what one was the really? worst? I like the slide. No, uh, the blades seem like the shittiest. Sick. No, you just slide over. And I think when they did the tiles, down. that sucked. Tiles? Oh, the Xbox? The the 360 eventually did tiles. Oh, they did change it twice. It's like the That's Windows correct. 8 correct. look. That was terrible. That yeah. was a shit one, I remember. Yeah. I mean, Best. I like pinning. Like, I, like, on my Xbox, like, literally, like, instead of having to go to your games and do this, like, Right on the same, you just scroll down a little bit. Like you have all your pin games and apps and everything right there Correct. on the first page that you can pin whatever you want, unpin it. Like I just think it's very simple. Like, but there's also a lot going on. They're making it look like Windows 10 and making it look like a PC, but it's not a PC. I think they're just building towards something. So we'll see. But it's good stuff. Everybody gets a point. Yay. <laughs> Uh, next story, Don't Mad Cat's on interactive place. files for bankruptcy. Mm, poor fella. So the Fight Sick manufacturer and rock band 4 publisher, Mad Cat's, has filed for bankruptcy protections. It's actually Mad Canada. Cats. This is in Canada. They don't live in Canadian. Anyway. So it's Chapter 7 in Canada. Uh, <laughs> Canada. Oh, no, Chapter 7 in the United States. Um, okay. Just uh, in case you file for bankruptcy. Fu- what country are you in, Steve? Bunch of what, CEOs. What the hell is going on? Dude, take my <laughs> points away. I don't give a heck. I don't, I don't, I don't give, a heck. give a heck. I like that, though. That's plus one. <laughs> yeah. I don't flip and give a heck. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Equals there's out. a bunch <laughs> of CEO talk, liquidating cash, blah, blah, blah. Um, Rock Band 4 was a failure for the company, contributing to a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Contributing to, a four, a, to an $11.6 million loss in the past financial year. Down from nearly five million profit in the last year, the company was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange last week. <laughs> Kicked out of the stock exchange. No one wants your garbage anymore. So. Well, Mad Cats, they used to make like all controls. The, the oh, the, the third party <laughs> controllers. Yeah. No third one, party no one trusted those things. Fucking controllers. If you had be... like, the, you gave the friend that you didn't really <laughs> like that much, the friend of the friend that came over, he used the Mad Cats while you and your boy used like the regular ones. <laughs> but you had a Mad Cats controller. No, you stole I, it. You just said <laughs> you, you got... gave it to him. Yeah, but I didn't have. Really, I really didn't have much. And my friends coming over, it's like. I would go over to people's houses and I'd be using the Mad Cats <laughs> one. That's how I knew about it. I'd be like, oh, shit. But they Mad realized Cats. years but they later. they had Mad Cats. Yeah, everyone. You had I to. mean, people had Mad Cats. But it like was Rock all Band about the Wave Bird was like the only good one. Or is that There's the one no for the GameCube? The GameCube. The wireless. Yeah, that's not the, a third uh, party one. Or something. No, that's, a, that's made by the Nintendo. Wireless. Oh, the Pelican is the other the one. Pelican, wasn't it? It was like the wireless controller. It's not Nintendo. I was still wouldn't trust that though. It was dope as shit. No, they were good. Really? I forget what they were called. They were awesome. Yeah. I mean, does this really surprise anybody? I mean, no. especially I didn't even know they were still around. Yeah, I didn't either. I mean, I've seen them. I mean, they still have been. Oh, well, if like you Xbox. walk into a GameStop, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that's maybe why the two stories are connecting here. But yeah. <laughs> selling Mad Cats. I mean, <laughs> you think about Gotta it. Got close like, 160 stores. Like Xbox and PlayStation have Threw been coming out, out with their new of controllers, Mad Cats you know, controllers. for the last couple of years. It, they've been creating the new, like Xbox just announced a brand new controller that they're coming out with this this past week. Yeah, the Army. They one. dropped the price on those Pro controllers yet? No, no. You're not nope. gonna see a price drop. Jesus, in a very long time. No. That's how all these companies are making, like yeah, but the big. But box. now that they've stepped into the controller, like they're making controllers now, like right. different types of controllers and different colors. Mad Cats used to get people because they would used to have like the flashing lights on them and they were different colors. Well, you really didn't have much of a choice, right? You, still you saw know. the price I, I difference. I don't know. I just, it's like weird too to think it. that they're yeah. not as prevalent anymore because the reason people bought third party controllers back in the day is because no one would pay 40 bucks for a controller. But now people pay 70, bucks, yeah. 80, bucks, yeah. 100. Mm-hmm. And you would think, and it's easier, I mean, I think to make a control. I mean, they're probably better than they used to be back in the day to make a higher quality controller for less money but you don't no one gives a fuck anymore yeah, they or just, just they it's just for some money. reason it's not needed anymore and i'm just wondering what why well, i think that PlayStation maybe the other and controllers Xbox. just made sturdier now that they don't you don't need no but it wasn't like sturdy it was more of a money thing like just no one wanted to pay a lot. Yeah. 
Like you yeah. got the knockoff because it was like yeah, you don't want to pay sixty dollars for an Xbox One controller. You right. You want to pay twenty dollars for a Mad Cat. Right. Is what you're saying. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, but that that type of person, I guess, or gamer, well, doesn't par- exist anymore. Parents yeah, use so the parent. they like to take care of themselves. And they're like, or I think that fingers. the original Xbox and PlayStation controllers just last longer, and so they're when you buy the console, you get that original controller. It's not dying as often as it was previously right like xbox 360 i used to go through controllers all the time but now like justin was saying it's more of like you but get a mad cast for the second part you know so you can have well, two players yeah and they're not they're not breaking as often anymore they last longer so then people aren't buying these mad i don't know fuck mad cats <laughs> mad cats is, uh, well, I like how you boil it down there. That's yeah. <laughs> Fuck Let's it. just wow. get back to it. Fuck Mad Cats. Fuck GameStop. I mean, fuck them both. <laughs> fuck them together, man. That's, that's their fault. That's it. Making that's deals it. with the devil. I mean, making Rock Band 4. I mean, eventually <laughs> yeah. that shit was going to die off. Like, I mean, Rock Band already killed you. They already got a real guitar that you plug in and play. Like, it's you're called fuck. Rocksmith. Yeah, they already fucking took your yeah. idea. But Guitar Hero 3, once ass. that hit, like, it was over. Like and then it's just everything went downhill. They just kept riding the train. Yeah, and that's what Activision happens. actually got out. And yeah, like we they knew it was time. You, know, you so ride yeah. the train and they couldn't stop and they crashed into the wall. The wall's reality. And the reality is, fuck them. <laughs> Next, fuck them. I'm all down with that. Okay, more wow. points. Fuck them. <laughs> that's in. That's bullshit. <laughs> he just you. repeated what I said and you gave. You know, it's but bullshit. It he then. worded it differently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's bullshit. I think Next. I should get another point for taking his point and making a point off it. No. If that's You didn't make no point. That's the point. <laughs> he gave me a point. I made one point. He gave you a point just because you said fuck them. He you lit- said a stupid analogy he literally about a, a train running into a wall and then you're like, you know what? Fuck them. Steve, give me a point. I didn't say that. He gave me a point. But that's for what my you good you point. look directly at him. I'm telling him a story. <laughs> about a tra- it's a narrative. I'm telling, excuse me. I'm telling him an analogy <laughs> of a train. We're off the fucking rails, Steve. It's a train. Ride. All right. Well, this is the last story. Let's put it back on the rails. Yeah. With this classic tune that we're all familiar with. Uh, what? The guy DK. behind the DK rap is back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kong. At it again. He's bigger. He's so stronger Grant and faster than you. Kurt Hoke. Kirk if you Hoke. Know. Formerly of Rare, now working on Platonic Games, ukulele. Oh, he's a fran- they write he's a fantastic composer. Yeah. We know that. And Brian We've heard his shit. like, oh, I fucking want this game bad. <laughs> That's my Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I don't know whether to give you a million points or to deduct a million points for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just kick me out if you want. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. Um, so anyway, spot on. Yeah, it's my brother. Uh, what's he not? Oh wow, they <laughs> sass him right here. What he's not very good at is rapping. Oh, According to his own that's metrics, bullshit. That hasn't stopped him from laying down a few <laughs> fire new verses <laughs> over a classic beat that old school rap fans will remember instantly. Uh, so his yeah, blah blah blah. He, mm, 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 I should probably mm. read this. Kirk Hope's most beloved composition is the DK rap, a song from 1999's Donkey Kong 64. Um, so Fire. he is, will me recognize the loop backing up this mysterious new track, which Kirk Hope tweeted today as a tease of something more to come. It's clearly going to be tied into ukulele, a homage to the rare platformer days of old. Game launches on April 11th, and the video's description uh, suggests that a true reveal of what Kirk Hope's been working on is coming just ahead of that. Um, he's n- notably he's warning fans to keep 11 a.m. on April 1st open for what's likely the real full-length version of the song. <laughs> that would be an April Fool's Day, meaning it's fair to be a little incredulous. <laughs> That's what did I did. We said. use that word earlier. No. Uh, no. What was that? Ubiguous and dubious. In dubious. In dubious. Checking. But either way, ambiguous. Uh, <laughs> we got it going on this week. The you world do. calendar is off, is off <laughs> yeah. the charts. It's up and running. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Potentially, yeah. they will hear his new track. Or potentially not. April Fool's. Yeah, I'd be pretty disappointed. I mean, I don't think he'll be able to talk the DK rap. No, he Personally. Should do. No, I mean. There's no top in that. <coughs> uh, that yeah. rap is just ingrained in people's brains. You team up with the guy I from like Bach Bumble. I like that rhyme. And you got it going. Yeah. In Are the membrane. Over there? 
insane yeah, in the membrane. You need a beat. <laughs> Cypress <laughs> Hill. Hey, who sent in this article? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Think that. about he's it. He's writing his script for years. Think yeah. about he it. was in his car outside. I like, I like the call out. That's a point. Yeah, he was like, you know what? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Teacher's pet over here. Hey, it's crazy. You're the but one yeah. planted fake news <laughs> just to make jokes off of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't have to talk about it, Justin. You don't have to mention your favorite memories of your DK rap. That's fine. I mean, I just played it for you. It was a great song. It is great. You got to see all your favorite characters again. You heard it in Smash Bros. Getting his ass kicked. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, it's Mark never gonna live up to the hype. So I kind of no. wish. He wasn't doing this to some, you know, point of it. But at the end of the day, whatever. I think it's going to be April Fool- Fool's, but. Kids won't remember him anyway. DK rap. I mean, they buy ukulele now. They have no clue who this guy is. That's very true. <laughs> it's a good point. Brian will. That's actually Take a, a good point, point from Justin and give it to, we, to Anthony. We exchange your points. <laughs> yeah. We're not, we're not going to do that. Yeah, Don't I let him tell you how to do it. I will job. sell you my I, points. I was close to. He's, he's, do you want to? Like to be told. He's trying to give all the points. Do you, I will sell you my points. <laughs> oh, I like, I like that. that. The free <laughs> market capitalism. That's two points right there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, all right. Is that it? That's it for the news That's this week. That's it for the news, but we do have an announcement. Right. Big announcement. Um, so we had our Mass Effect Andromeda giveaway. <laughs> For YouTube reaching 50 subscribers this week, um, I appreciate. I know we all appreciate everybody subscribing, helping us out. Mahalo. It makes it, ma- yeah. it makes me feel good inside. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> I do good. Um, and so the winner of the Mass Effect Andromeda will be reaching out to you is Brandon Burden. Uh, Mr. Brandon Burden, we do appreciate it. Confetti, 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 confetti. Confetti, 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 some jazz hands. Um, I'll be reaching out to you at some point next week, and we'll coordinate. You get to choose console. Hopefully PC. Don't be a pleb. Be a pleb. Like these guys over here. Get those glitches in Um, there. (laughs) Glitches, man. I got no glitches over here. But congratulations. We do appreciate (laughs) it. Um, And that's going to be it for the Drunken News. Do you want to know the final scores? Oh, Are we going to go over the final scores right now? Is that oh, do we, we want to save that until the beginning of next week's news? No, wait, no, we can just do, do it. You right, always do because he needs to know. Gary eight, shit. Justin eight, oh, shit. Anthony nine. Dude, he what? squeaked ahead at the end when he, he does this when, when you said wow. him the points. The free market. Yeah, should have bought those points. All right, <laughs> get prepared. Start writing your script. Thirty seconds. I already know what it is now. Oh, now you, you, you do. Now you I was do. thinking about like, now I you're all I should have thought about it and then yeah. we, it was almost a, th- points. almost a three way tie. That would have been crazy. I don't know how you been handled. I mean, maybe all that. Just everybody all gets a point. At each other <laughs> yeah. Non-stop. Yeah. Just nobody. Just everybody. That's fucking about that. Actually, I do think that's true. If there is a tie for the top score, you have you both talk at the same time. Whoever's the loudest is clearly correct. I like that. Gets if he he gets the end of thirty seconds. What's that game where you hold them by the hand and you slap the back of their hand? It'd be like mercy. What is mercy? It's mercy. Yeah. Right? You just go back and forth, and whoever caves in whoever first, holds out yeah. the longest, they win. To death. So that's what happens if you two way tie with me. Well, you that know who should... does win? Everybody else listening to this, because that's the end of the drunken news this week. We'll be back after the break with the outro. <laughs> <laughs>